Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Misko. Welcome to Monk Monday number 84. I believe this is 84, 83. I think it's 84. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here and I critique it. I go over it. No one's going to criticize you. No one's going to make fun of you. Trust me, I am... I was much worse than what anyone has ever submitted out of 84 Monk Mondays. I was 10 times worse than anyone that I've done gameplay for. So promise you'll be fine. And it's really nice. Um, really good idea to get another set of eyes on your gameplay. Today we have, I'm gonna try to pronounce it right, Ganiri. I believe is how you pronounce it, I hope. And what he says is thanks for all the informative videos. I started playing Misfit at the end of season one and learned a lot from you currently playing mainly with my brother, Survival Hunter. That's awesome. And I, I play with my brother sometimes too. He plays a demon hunter. Uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of banter as well. We reached 1900 last week. That's amazing. Uh, against mostly heal and DPS teams, we do quite well. This is Chain of Freezing Track and Song of Chi is pretty good. That's exactly Intimidation Stun, Trap, Song of Chi It's amazing. Um, but against teams that try to train you down and usually take Ring of Peace, that's perfectly fine. Toughest comp is Rogue Mage. Rogue Mage, notoriously for Mistweaver, is very difficult. They tend to target the Hunter. We die in a second or third setup when turtle trinkets are not down. Uh, okay. So your talents are Tiger's Lust, Ring of Peace, Healing Elixir. That's fine. And then PvP talents are Peace Weaver, Zen Focus T, Eminence, which is also fine versus Rogue Mage. I like that. Um, if you're running into problems where you're running out of cooldowns, you might want to drop Zen Focus T and play Life and play Eminence, not Eminence, um, Chrysalis. Just be, that way you have Revive on a minute and a half cooldown and you have Life Cocoon on a minute and a half cooldown. So if you don't have one, you could use the other. Kind of rotate between Combustions. Uh, if that's helpful and yeah, I would really like to hear your two thoughts. Uh, here's a playlist of two rogue mage games So what the games? All right. Yeah, I mean discord with my brother and talking German So you might want to turn down the bomb. I'll mute it man. Don't worry about it um, Something I do want to note though for hunters uh, BM hunters They have now I'm sure you know this I'm sure your brother knows about it But they have a, an ability called roar of sacrifice and I'll pull up on the screen really quick so this is roar of sacrifice and it you know it, it transfers damage to the pet but the most important thing is it makes them makes whoever has it immune to critical strikes but the damage is transferred to the hunter's pet now the way fire mage damage works is they basically they do, the more critical strikes they have the more damage they do and combustion just makes them go crazy so they just crit and it's just insane so bm hunters what you want to do if you're playing with a oh you're playing with a survival hunter you should still have it, uh, Survival Hunter. Um, you should still have Roar of Sacrifice, I'm pretty sure. What you want to do is your your brother needs to save Roar of Sacrifice for every combustion. Can't use it outside of combustion, ever. Never, ever, it, versus Fire Mages at least. You never, ever want to use it outside of combustion because combustion is when they have the most crit. It's when they're going to do the most damage. So, And I believe you could use it while stunned as long as the pet is in crowd control. So as long as the pet is in some kind of cheap shot, uh, poly, something like that. Um, also, oh no, your survival. I keep thinking you're BM, but if they're, if your hunter, if your brother was BM, they can get an undead pet that mages can't actually sheep. Something I don't know if many people know about, but BM hunters can tame an undead pet and mages can't sheep it. They can only ring it. So we got a port down, which is great. Um, make sure you get a statue up. We got a statue. We're in stealth. So you're the only one. You're kind of the target right now. We get the rogue out, which is great. That's a cheap shot into... This is a Shadow Dance cheap shot here and probably going to stun on you. This is fine. Perfect. Uh, honestly, the great trap there. Combustion. So this is... I mean... Okay, perfect. Yeah, no, your hunter, your brother knows. Yeah, we're of sacrifice. It easily negates it. Just easily negates it. Um, go for an in cap. Perfect. Rogue is on you, which is fine. This is shadowy duel and shadow blades, so it is a little bit scary. Great sun focus to here. I'm pretty sure you're still on stun dr as well. Uh, and we used revival there for peace weaver. So I think so far we're doing all right. Rogues are gonna get restelts. Um, that's just how it is unless you can get a trackers unless your brother can get a trackers net on it because they can't dispel it so um we don't have port i think that was our trinket let me just see what we can do a little bit better um so this is a sub rogue the worst thing that you can do versus a sub rogue is stack because the rogue then just gets cheap shot cheap shot builds up his combo points and then damage 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 so try to stay i know your brother oh doesn't have wait what are we trinket 
All right. Uh, okay. Your brother trinketed a polymorph. Um, I probably wouldn't. Do you? I'm pretty sure you don't need to be. I think you can still use Worf Sacrifice when you're stunned. And like in CC. So I don't think your brother needed to trinket this poly. Just because they're on you. You know? Um, I know it was combustion. But I, if, if you do need to, I mean, Word of Sacrifice is obviously a play, but I don't think you need to trick to use Word of Sacrifice. Um, good in cap here. All right, let me go back. Sorry, I'm kind of getting losing track here. So basically, don't stack. Do your best not to stack versus sub rogues. And um, we didn't reset our port as well. So make sure you reset your port. Because if you port, obviously, you know, I mean, yeah, I I've died a few times doing it, but, you know, just make sure you reset it. Probably behind a pillar would be nice, but yeah. So now we're stacking up. You see, they get the the double DB too. Kind of hurts too. So um, that is our trinket. They don't really have burst cooldown, so I think we're okay. Life cocoon there. Good, really good trap from your from your brother. Uh, we get kicked. What can we do while kicked? I would kite. So yeah, I would definitely run. Nice leg sweep. I would in cap probably, but I guess this is fine. The rogue's running, which is fine. Nice, we can't do anything about ice block, but. Nice, good, good job resetting your port. Perfect, good. Make sure you keep renewing mist. Make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself too. Even though they're not hitting you right now, make sure you keep renewing mist on yourself. And then also get get far away from your port because now you have you have your port back. They can't kill you. This, t this team, your, your brother is the one that's the kill target right now, not you because you have your, you have your eminence. They can't kill you. They they really can't, you know, unless they lock you out and then stun you, then you can't pour it. But realistically, they can't really kill you right now. So your brother is the kill target. Um, so be careful. You, the mage is going to take a little bit less damage here. And you could you could rop the mage out if you have it. Uh, Rogue just goes out uh, opening with the trinket. There's cheap shots. You're OK. So this is one of those things. Your brother even if he did have trinket, couldn't do anything about if this guy uses combustion, couldn't do anything about it because again, that your the pet is frozen right now. So just keep that in mind. Um, Zen focus T. Good. Good. DB on it kind of sucks, but that's okay. We get kicked. If you get kicked, you have options. Oh, we use Roar of Sacrifice. Did the mage use combust? I don't think the mage used combust. Did he? I didn't see I didn't flame I didn't see him flame on. No, I don't think. No, I don't think uh he used combustion yet. So that is scary. That is scary. DB on the red Zen focus D kind of sucks. We have fortifying brew, so like you have fortifying brew here. Even though you kicked, you can still use it. You can also use Tiger's Lust. So and you can use Incap. So we have tools to get away. I would say. I don't know what has trinket and what doesn't. If we're hitting the rogue right now, I would incap the mage and kind of roll away. But I would also I would press fortifying brew right now because they're gonna kill you. <laughs> they're definitely gonna kill you. Nice bone dust brew. Does it miss? Oh, okay, I was gonna say what. Nice, nice. That was expel harm there. Good, good. Get the poly blind on the hunter or on your brother. So staying in combat is good. DB, just DRing you. They're not. I I, I think they want to kill you. That's why they're DBing. But the rogue is like drinking or eating somewhere. DB. Root on you. This is scary. Combustion. Or not combustion. Damage on you. We have port or no? Do we have port or no? Oh my god. We have port. Oh, right now. Oh, you could live. Your port's right there. But you, you, you could have lived right here. Because we have port. Um, and then maybe revival out of that to stay alive. But yeah, we definitely, we had the port. Mm-hmm. We had it. Oh, oh shoot. Does he 1v1? Oh, baby. Let's go. Let's see. No pressure. No pressure. The 30 people that watch us. Let's see what we got. Um, acceleration there. All right. We still have turtle. Nice trap. All right. <sighs> yeah. Shadow meld into, that's good. Camo. Perfect. It's about to end early. Oh, does he just die? Um, honestly, not a bad game. You, you won right, like you won right there. You you had like the biggest things this game. One, don't stack, especially versus sub rogues. It's just way too easy to get 
double double kidney shot or double cheap shots double dbs from the mage into a ring of ring of frost like it's just a headache so just kind of stay spread out um and yeah we we had we had port at the end here like you, you definitely we had port right here at 50 what 55 percent health maybe like maybe 60 percent health so you you won this game in my book but yeah um just port and revival to immune stuff because you're playing peace weaver and you'll be fine the rogue died literally as you were in the stun so um yeah just be aware just always know your outs and stuff and just know who the kill target is but overall really not that bad of a game uh, again stacking is like the worst thing you can do i'll say it was just one more time it's like the worst thing you can do versus sub rogues and assassination rogues just all specs of basically just stay spread out versus everything you don't want them to get cc on you it's too easy it's just too easy to get cc on like miss weavers so all right let me take a look at that sorry i kind of forgot eminence zen focus t cocoon dropping that for peace weaver it's fine all right let's see what we got okay port down perfect Make sure you get a statue. Perfect. All right, we're already winning. We're already ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're just like the bait right now. No one else. Like you're the only one. All right, mage opens on you. Um, trap on the mage. Yeah, no, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. Good job. Make sure you keep renew, put renewing mist back on yourself here. Uh, cheap shot on you. So obviously they're going for a poly on you. Just poured it. Nice in cap. It's DR. The mage trinkets it, which is even better. Revive. Okay. So again, right here, your brother uses worth sacrifice. It's not that bad. I is he is the mate is the rogue opening with shadow blades? Okay, the rogue opened with shadow blades. That's actually kind of uh because shadow blades gives you bonus combo points for crit, right? Okay, no, I'm wrong. So this just makes your combo point. Generate abilities, deal, okay. But they deal extra shadow damage, yeah. So your brother needs to not use Roar of Sacrifice without combustion. I think that's just, that's just the game plan. Like that's just textbook. Make sure you don't use it unless you see combustion. If you see shadow blades, it has to be your cooldowns. Normally, so what you're looking for, again, arena, you know, is is you're trading cooldowns. You're trading cooldowns in arena. That's what the whole game is about. That's what it's about. For shadow blades, trade your cooldowns for it. So, you know, if you need to life cocoon or if you need to like do something like that, you know, use Zen Focus T with Yulon to keep your brother alive, do it. But when it comes to combustion, that is your brother's cooldown. That's Roar of Sacrifice and Feign Death if he has the legendary. Um, because that's what makes Hunters like really good right now is because it basically counters the best caster in the game. So, yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to use a... I don't know if we dispelled this, that root. Nice life, Cocoon. Um... I don't know. So there's a root right there. I don't know how. I don't know if you dispelled. Oh, yeah, we dispelled it. Use Tiger's Lust instead. Get in the habit of using Tiger's Lust instead. Because what the mage could do is you just dispel the Frost Nova. The mage can poly your hunter. And you have no you have, you have no way to dispel it. I mean, you could use Revival, but you probably shouldn't. So use Tiger's Lust to dispel Frost Nova. But right now, we're in a pretty good... We're a decent spot. A little overextended. We're out of range of port. Definitely out of range of port. We... Drink it. I think diffuse magic is fine. I think that was healing elixir. Yeah. Um, Zen focus T is fine. Combustion. So you see how it's it's pretty important. We have fortifying brew as well. So there's bone dust brew, fortifying brew. Um, oh, we got some decent healing with bone dust brew. Some big juicy healing, and you kill the mage. Nice, nice trap on the rogue too. Um, so you see, like combustion really isn't that scary if we have worth sacrifice. Bone dust brew here. I don't know if they have kicks or not, but oh no, no. Juke the rogue, perfect. And then the mage is just not kicking, which is even better. Um Yeah, but you again you have port right here. You have port. And I don't know, I think your port is on the other side of these fence. So just always remember if you're playing eminence, use it. 
Um, it does get kind of scary, but especially when you don't have a short cooldown, like how it used to be. But even right here, boom, can you shot? Just pour it, get out of there. Um, either they have to run to you and your hunter's just hitting them and they're just losing, or they swap to your hunter who has turtle and you can use your bone dash brew to heal from range. So yeah, just remember you have eminence. Don't freak out when you get swapped to, um, really good traps from your hunter on the rogue here at the end and use dwarf sacrifice for combustion that's the first that's the button he presses uh hopefully if hopefully they're not stuck in crap the pet isn't stuck in crowd control but yeah um this comp i swear to god is one of one of the hardest comps to play right now in twos i, I think resto druid warrior resto druid demon hunter one of the hardest comps to play in the game right now so diffuse magic is really good what i would play is song of chiji diffuse magic because if the demon hunter goes you then you can incap song of chiji the demon hunter los of his healer if they don't go you you can incap song of chiji the healer give you an extra win condition um or get it out of a trap so stuff like that but i, I think eminence um refreshing breeze i would probably do mm, probably chrysalis or disarm just because it lines up with the hunt I, again arena you're just trying to trade cooldowns later in dampening cocoon revival lines up with the hunt almost perfectly so zen focus he's fair too zen focus he's fair it's fine it's all right all right all right let's see what we got what is this is this a weak order to see who like they're targeting it's kind of sick wait how do you i want this add-on um, demon hunter's going you i would assume that your hunter is probably going to go the demon hunter port the stun there and so far so good obviously we're, we're waiting for the hunt that's perfect beautiful look at that and we get the demon hunter trinket you can you can leg sweep the demon hunter right now if you have it and you do so don't be afraid to use it there's blur before you got blur and trinket before stunning the demon hunter so you are as far as cooldowns go you are winning zen focus t there um your hunter uses feign death hunt the hunter interaction with feign death and your soothing mist is really annoying so when you're when i heal hunters for the most part i my soothing mist cancels when they feign death so it is kind of annoying interaction uh we like sweep without having a song of chiji which is okay but ideally you want to follow that up with the song of chiji but we have, we should have incap. We have incap. So just go for it. <laughs> We're just doing loops. Um, the druid tree in there. Okay, so they have no trinkets. Demon hunter has nothing. What we're looking for now is the next. What you want to do, I would say, is kill the demon hunter in the next stun when your hunter has burst damage. Um, try to get a trap on the druid without getting a stun, and then go follow it up with a song of GG and leg sweep. You could also leg sweep the demon hunter. Nice in cap there. Um, if you could follow up that trap with the song of Chiji somehow, I don't think you can though. Your poor little gnome legs can't get there. Oh no. I saw you. Oh, you're hitting the leg sweep. I know. It, it Somehow, Miss, Miss Weaver in twos is very fragile. You will lose on mana 99% of the time. And then later in dampening, you also lose because your healing spells do nothing. But. If you can do clean setups and line up your CC with your teammate's stuns, you you will do so well. So right here, beautiful trap, but there's no stun on the demon hunter. So if we had some kind of stun on the demon hunter, I think this guy would die. Like I, I, he has nothing. Maybe darkness. We life cocoon, and then we have, if we had a follow up song here uh, on the druid, it would. Oh man, it'd be so good. So just. Don't be afraid to wait, you know, have, you know, I don't know. I think survival hunters build up a little bit of their damage with the, um, wildfire stuff. Um, their little explosion thing. So just have your hunter like wait and give you a few seconds on your leg sweep in 10 seconds and follow it up. And I think you'll see a lot more wins, especially, and you'll get a lot more cooldowns too. Like this is great. Perfect. If we can get a song of GG off, we can't, but that's okay nice all right there's a trinket no stops for it shadow melts it unlucky uh our port make sure you reset your port all right you heard me Alrighty then perfect sorry if you can hear my dog 
Um, Drew is just running right now. Good job keeping me in combat. Really good. I would also something I didn't mention. I didn't mention is Mystic Touch. I think survival hunters have quite a bit of melee damage, physical damage. I don't know how much. I think it comes a lot from their explosion things. So I don't know if that's magical or physical, uh, if I'm going to be honest. But I would say, you know, get in the habit of putting Mystic Touch on whoever your, your hunter is hitting. Um, yeah, if we could follow this up with like an ink, you can do an ink cap into a leg sweep. Okay, Song of Chi Beautiful, beautiful. We got Blur. Do we, have a, do we have a leg sweep? Five seconds. We have ring of peace too. See, see, see how much pressure you get if you could just lie. like you got a stun on demon hunter, trap on the healer. Beautiful, beautiful. That's exactly all you do is you do that over and over and over again, and you get cooldowns. Eventually, guess what? They're not gonna have cooldowns. They're not gonna have trinkets. They're not gonna have blurs. They're not gonna have defensives, and you'll just get a kill. You know, that's 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 the beauty of it. That's why I like playing with hunters, honestly. I really like playing with teams that are like with people that uh, specs that have some setup. It's really nice. Revival there on the hunt. Beautiful. Um, I, it immunes that dot for a little bit. But the hunt was on you. So if you feel like it's getting overwhelming, you can use your healing elixirs or diffuse magic. But overall, it seems pretty good. You're able to handle it really well right now. Now, again, Druid has no trinket. So... CC on the Druid is going to be really, really good. That's Iron Bark. So hopefully what we're looking for after this Iron Bark is CC on the Druid. If, if we can get a stun, beautiful. You, you see that? Do you see that right there? Instantly, instantly get Trinket from the Demon Hunter with the Leg Sweep on the on the Demon Hunter, Trap on the Healer. That's that's it. That's And that's what you're trying to do every time. And Blur. You got Trinket Blur. But, what you're trying, but now you need some kind of follow-up. So like, good job staying alive here. You gotta, you gotta go try to get, try to get that song as best you can. Good job uh, keeping your mist up too. So, again, we're in the same spot. There's no trinkets. I think that was Incarn from the Druid. Demon Hunter has no blur. So next intimidation stun. I don't know if we're tracking it, which is fine. I, I don't see how much. I don't, I don't know if we have it or not. Next intimidation stun on the Demon Hunter should be close to a kill. Hopefully. Close, somewhat close. Nice in cap uh, into a song here. It's fine. That's good. It depends on who we're going. But there's a trap. So there's a tra so okay. So we're trying to hit the demon hunter. Probably should have held on to that song for the druid for after that trap. There's meta from the demon hunter. Yeah. No. I mean, pretty good damage. I think we're doing all right. Yeah. Not doing too bad. There's a stun on the druid into a trap. So do we have leg sweep? We have leg sweep. This is it. This is it right here. Right here. Like what, what you should be saying is your brother's like, I have, I have a trap and you have stun. And then you say, yes, I have stun in three seconds. So boom, as soon as he traps, boom, right now you leg sweep the demon hunter right here. Instead of trying to, instead of cutting away from your brother, you want to stun the demon hunter and then kill. You know, that way the demon hunter can't kite. Nice job reviving that hunt. Mm, you do love to see that. You really do. Stun on your on your brother. Uh, oh, there's turtle. Really good. Really good. Saved our trinket too. Stun on you now. Good trap. Druid inst Druid instantly trinkets it. Double leg sweep is beautiful. Coordinated assault from your brother. Perfect. Nice in cap. Get a song. Oh my god. Okay, that's Iron Bark. Oh my god. Oh my. Beautiful. Great, great game here. Just make sure again. You see how you see, but you see like you get both. You, both of them are in CC. You follow that up, and you get a kill. That's that's all. That's what you have to do as a Mistweaver, and that's that's what you do to win. That that's that's how you win. So I think you actually could have gotten gotten the kill in this setup right here. Um, when the demon hunter is chasing after you. Um, yeah, right here. Um, when you ran away. Oh, right here. When you, so always try to remember, try to have them both locked down. Demon hunters, especially because they'll, they'll just run. They're just, they'll, they'll disengage out of their fell rush away. They're, they'll peace out. So whenever you can get, whenever you can have both of them without trinkets and you have stuns available, 
so much pressure. Like there's so, you can get so much pressure. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Overall though, this great kiting, great job with your mana. Um, just remember setups. Um, use your CC or use your leg sweeps when you're when your hunter is using uh, their stuns and damage because otherwise it's kind of a waste. But no, great, great kiting this game. That was really good. Really, really good. Um, what do we got here now? Arms Warrior, Holy Pally, Resto Shaman. Okay. <sighs> song of Chi for sure. Yeah, this is a Song of Chi This is a, uh, you could drop the Zen Focus T for Eminence if you want. I would. Um, because what you really want to, um, seriously, what you really want to do is you want to play max range this entire game. And then the only time you push in is when you have port. And you push in, in cap song, pour it out of there. Like, get out of there. The last thing you want to do is be stacked versus an arms warrior. Blade storms, the the legendary with their blade storm, the, um, the Kyrian spear, like all that really counters Mist a lot. So, especially when you're playing song. So, keep that in mind. But I believe in us. I believe in us. I have faith, full faith. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a port down statue up. Monk, hey, you know, I'm not gonna lie. If the shaman wants to, if the shaman wants to push in like this, punish the shaman. Instead of running away, instantly go for an in cap song on the shaman. Instantly go for it. It's free CC. It's free. The shaman is pushing LOS of his warrior. The warrior would have to commit their pummel and their their leap just to stop you. So if you see a healer pushing on you, completely out of position, though DPS far away, punish them. Like you want to punish them. Okay, disarm on the warrior is good. Uh, if it's avatar, did the warrior use avatar? All right, then it wasn't that good. Um, <laughs> use use your disarm when you see avatar. Um, no, that's it. Yeah, because now the warrior is gonna be able to use the avatar and not really get punished for it. Um, usually, when I see my teammates taking damage at the start of a game, I'll instantly Yulon Manatee and just get some hots going. That way, when they actually use their burst cooldowns, I can disarm and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of what I do. Uh, there's a trap there. So now we're looking for a stun. We're looking for a stun off of that. And you have a beautiful leg sweep. They're both stacked up. Go for it. Nice in cap. Get a song into a song. Nice. There's trinket from the shaman. We committed Zen focus T there, but that's all right. There's a hex. Yeah. So we see the hex. I think it's in the middle of your screen. No, right here, right here. So I, Another, so one one more thing I would suggest is having a focus key bind to put somebody on focus. That way you can actually see like the cast of the, your person on focus and you don't need to worry about like targeting them. Um, but we could port this. Yeah, we, we're definitely in range. Like, yeah, we're definitely in range of porting. So you can port this hex. Blade storm. Spamming life cocoon. That's fine. We did commit our Zen. Oh, leap hum on you. Uh, Shaman is right in our face, gonna shear us. No? All right, good rolling. Ooh, nice parkour. Where a sacrifice is good. Um, it is scary if the Shaman starts spam purging, but the Shaman isn't so, and we also got shears, so that's fine. So you shouldn't be able to get kicked right now. The warrior, again, you do not want to be stacked against the warrior, especially if you know, they got the cleave. Careful of Ruben, Raben. Be careful. That's your, that's uh, really good. This is beautiful. Beautiful setup right here. Great, great, great. You have a leg sweep? No? Oh, I think it broke. That's okay. That's all right. Disarm on the warrior there? Yeah? We get sheared. So you can just free cast right now. No need to juke or anything. You can just free cast heals. Uh, we have a leg sweep now too. So they're both no trinkets, no stun DR. Going for that double leg sweep. Yeah, no, you want to use that ASAP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yep. Spinning crane kick to uh, put Mystic Touch on everybody. Oh, nice shackle. Probably there's B there's Battlemaster, Perry, Intervene, Disarm on the Warrior there, which is nice. Riley's gonna fall in three seconds. This this shaman can actually die. Uh you have incap and ring of peace. Maybe you can incap that heal. If you can get any CC on the sh like I think the shaman dies. Riley's about to fall. Yeah, yeah, there's Avatar. There's a fear. That's also another reason you don't want to stay stacked against a uh, warrior because they get the uh, the double fear. Uh, you have in cap or maybe not. Nice healing. Good. Touch death. 
great. This setup right here, um, I think it broke. Yeah, no, this setup right here, this is whenever I play Hunter, usually I play with a BM Hunter, but I have played with Survival Hunter this season or this expansion. This is this is it. Like, this is it. Trap into song every go, every single go. And no, this is great, good stuff. Um, what was I What was I saying? Don't use Disarm unless you see Avatar. Uh, that's one thing because then warriors can just literally just smash your face and, and there's like no stops to it. Uh, don't stack ever versus, a, especially with the rest of Shaman because they have wind shear and they have hexes. So play max range um, until you go in for a song. And overall, man, no, good stuff. Good healing. Like I, I didn't make any comments about your healing because yeah, you got it down, it seems like. Uh, don't be afraid to use Yulon either. Um, you know, you have Manatee up here. Uh, just use Yulon. I know it's a weird global. Let me see. What do we at? Yeah, instead of, oh no, this is a good leg sweep. Use Yulon while they're leg swept, just so you have it. And then good shackle. Like this is this is all good stuff. Don't be, don't forget to heal when you're, before you shackle um, or when you're CCing because I have run into that where it's like, all right, one second shackle, but then the channel time is like a few seconds. And then all of a sudden you're behind because you shackled. It happens. So just keep that in mind. Um, I would have probably, I would have done it now and just thrown a hot on my hunter, get the double leg sweep, get the shackle and beautiful. No, that was uh interview Perry, I think from the warrior. So no, overall, man, that, you guys are good. You guys, no, you guys are really, really good. Save war of sacrifice for combustion versus mage teams. Um, don't stack versus sub rogues or really any team for that, for that matter, because you can just get CC'd and swap to so easily. Um, don't forget that you have eminence. Eminence is, you know, not just used for setups, but also to keep you alive. It's really good. And uh, no, that's pretty much it. It's nice to see two brothers playing it. You know, my brother and I play too. So uh, it's nice to see. Um, it's nice to see. So yeah, no, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions or if you or anyone has any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you guys might have. And that is pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful. And I'll see you later.